On this floor plan, you are going to see the process flow for packaged milk products. First, raw milk is delivered to the plant from the dairy farm, located about 5 miles down the road. Upon receiving, the milk is tested for antibiotic residues to determine acceptability. If the milk is free from antibiotic residues, it is received through piping and flows directly into raw tank 1. The piping is fitted with a filter to remove any large debris that may have gotten into the raw milk at the farm. The milk then passes through the separator to standardize the milk fat content. After separation, the milk is pumped into raw tanks 2 through 5, depending on what the milk is being used for. Raw tank 2 is for whole milk. Raw tank 3 is for low-fat milk, raw tank 4 is for skim milk, and raw tank 5 is for chocolate milk. All raw products then pass through the high temperature short time, or HTST unit, where pasteurization and homogenization occur. After the milk has been pasteurized, it exits the HTST unit and flows into pasteurized tanks 1 through 5. Pasteurized tanks 1 through 3 are used to hold pasteurized milk while pasteurized tanks 4 and 5 are used for ice cream production. The pasteurized milk then flows from pasteurized tanks 1, 2, and 3 to the milk container filling machine, which packages the milk into containers. The individual milk containers then move down the conveyor belt to the crate filler, where the pints are mechanically placed into crates for easy stacking during storage. The crates are loaded into the walk-in cooler, where the packaged milk is stored until shipping. When ready to ship, the milk is picked up and loaded onto a shipping truck through the sliding loading dock door.